Take a great white shark, cover the front part of its body with inch-thick armor plating, increase the size of its jaws even further, and you'd basically have a Dunkleosteus. This monster fish was a gigantic predatory placoderm from the Devonian period, and was likely the largest predator in the world during its time. The biggest species measured 6 meters long and weighs more than 1100 kilograms. According to Ferronitol 2017, it had an interior lobe on its tail similar to modern sharks, indicating it was a capable swimmer on top of everything else. This lean, mean murder machine is most famous for its killer jaws, and looking at them, I feel like it's deserved. The critter's face is an engine block with teeth, or more accurately, without teeth. Those sharp and nightmare scissors are actually extensions of the jaw, honed into a beak shape. Anderson and West Neat 2007 calculate his bite force at more than 4400 newtons, and write that it's the strongest of any fish, extant or extinct. But these chompers can do more than chop armor plating apart. Suction feeding isn't entirely uncommon in modern fish. John Dorries do it, and the largemouth bass, which uses suction, is the world's most popular sporting fish. West Neat Nelson 2015 described the process as derived from high muscle power. The jaws extend outwards rapidly, pulling in a flush of water and whatever else happens to be there. But could it really work for an animal as big as heavy as a 20-foot placoderm? It seems that all those armor plates would slow it down too much. Not according to the 2007 biomechanical model. The muscles that controlled the opening and closing mechanisms allowed Dunkleosteus to fully open its jaws in 20 milliseconds. That's five times faster than a human can blink. Such swift movement of such huge jaws would create a vortex certain to suck any prey smaller than a cow into the gaping maw of mutilating death. It could also close said maw in the span of 30 milliseconds, meaning that the entire process of vacuuming you up and biting you in half like a french fry could occur twice in the time it takes you to open and close your eyes. Dunkleosteus wouldn't even wait for you though. The same study states that the animal has a high speed transmission for jaw opening, producing a rapid expansion phase similar to modern fishes that use suction for prey capture. So yes, you go to jaws, but in Soviet Russia, jaws go to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more paleontology content and check out the Ultimate Battle server on Discord. Vividan out.